Edwards Walker. Mary Edwards Walker was born on November 26, 1832 in the town of Oswego, New York, in an abolitionist family. Her birthplace on the Bunker Road is marked with a historical marker. Her father was a country doctor and was a free-thinking participant in a lot of the reform movements that thrived in upstate New York in the mid-1800s. Her father strongly believed in education and equality for his five daughters who were Mary, Aurora, Luna, Vesta, and Cynthia, and she had a brother named Alva. Mary became an early enthusiast for women's rights and passionately espoused the issue of dress reform. Later in her life, she donned full men's evening dress to lecture on women's rights. In June 1855, Mary, the only woman in her class, joined the small number of women doctors in the, na in the nation when she graduated from the Electic Sarcos Medical College. She graduated when she was 21 after a three-week semester of medical training when she paid $55 each for. In 1856, she married another physician whose name was Albert Miller, and she kept her own name. Together, they set up a medical practice in Rome, New York, but the public was not ready to accept a lady physician. They were divorced 13 years later. When war broke out, she came to Washington and tried to join the Union Army. She was the first female surgeon in the U.S. Army. Later, she worked as a field surgeon near the Union front lines for almost two years. In September 1863, Mary was finally appointed assistant surgeon in the Army of the Cumberland, for which she made herself a slightly modified officer's uniform to wear. In response to the de demands of travel traveling with the soldiers and working in field hospitals, she also served as a spy. She was taken prisoner in 1864 by Confederate troops and imprisoned in Richmond for four months until she was exchanged with two dozen other Union doctors for 17 Confederate surgeons. She was released back to the 52nd Ohio as a contract surgeon, but spent the rest of the war practicing at Louisville Female Prison and an orphan's asylum in Tennessee. She was paid $766.16 for, for her wartime service. Afterwards, she got a monthly payment of $8.50, later raised to $20, but still less than some widow's payments. On November 11, 1865, President Johnson signed a bill to President Dr. Mary Edwards Walker with the Congressional Medal of Honor from Metoria Service in order to recognize her contributions to the war effort without awarding her an Army commission. She was the only woman to ever receive the Medal of Honor, her country's highest military award. In 1917, her Congressional Medal, along with the medals of 910 others, was taken away by the Congress, revised the Medal of Honor standards to include only actual combat with an enemy. She refused to give back her Medal of Honor, wearing it every day until she died in 1919. After the war, Mary Edwards Walker became a writer and lecturer, touring here and abroad on women's rights, dress reform, health, and intemperance issues. Tobacco, she said, resulting in paralysis and insanity. Women's clothing, she says, was immodest and inconvenient. She was elected president of the National Dress Reform Association in 1866. Mary prided herself by being arrested numerous times for wearing full man dress, including wing collar, bow tie, and top hat. In 1872, in Oswego, Mary attempted to vote, one of the many women who made the attempt over these years in the road to full suffrage. She died in the town of Oswego on February 21, 1919, and is buried in the rural on Cemetery Road. Ironically, the 19th Amendment giving Omen the vote was ratified the same year. A 20-cent stamp honoring Dr. Mary Walker was issued in Oswego, New York, on June 10, 1982. In 2000, Mary was inducted to the Women's Hall of Fame. So overall, Mary Walker is a pretty cool woman.